What's going on guys, it's Rick here, and uh, I'm not using my tripod today, so I apologize for the shaky video, but I just want to make something real quick. It's about 55 degrees outside, low humidity, sunshine day, not much wind, so I'm going to try to get a coat or two of uh, primer on some kits. But, took a trip to Hobby Lobby in my other local hobby store, and I saw another person who made a video about this, and they actually did have it. Picked it up for $7.91. Street Burner 85 SVO Mustang, going to do a review on that, hopefully build that one soon because I've been looking forward to doing this kit but I didn't want to pay full price for it. And I also picked up one of these here cutting mats, I know this isn't one of the ones that people normally use but I got it for like 6 bucks and I uh, figured it was a pretty good deal, it was on clearance. So I grabbed it. Then I also got some of these, I've seen a few people using these, seem like they come in handy. Some of these. Uh, sanding files here 243 20 grit and this was like four bucks a little more expensive but it should come in handy i also picked up and this is the only place i've been able to find this stuff is o'reilly's auto parts so if you guys are wondering where you can get duplicolor sandable primers check out o'reilly's sorry for the shakiness guys i drank a lot of soda this morning so i'm a little shaky i also got some of this filler primer I almost think I might have another can of this, but this is a lighter gray. They didn't have the light gray in the sandable primer, so I just picked this up. And the guy said it should probably work the same. It's still, you can sand it and everything like that. So we'll see how it goes. If you guys got any suggestions or any tips or anything, let me know. Then the stuff I got from the regular hobby store. And these I pretty much just bought for review. Well, I want to build them as well, but I was more thinking on the review side of things. But uh, 2160 for this. This is the AMT Phantom 400 Econoline. And I also got this Limburg Dodge 330. This is a kit I wanted way back in the day. I got it for 15 bucks. They had a few other versions, the race versions of them, but I decided I'd get this one mainly because it comes with the Slant 6 as well as the. Um, God, I can't think if that's a 383 or a 400, maybe 4. 26 that this comes with non hemi obviously but yeah so yeah guys look, be looking forward to those as far as reviews and hopefully building them soon i know it's getting to be winter but like i said with the way the uh midwest weather is i live in missouri you know i mean it could be 60 or 70 degrees in december so who knows what's going to happen i heard we're going to have a bad winter but i guess we'll see what happens so once again i apologize for the shakiness i should have just put this on the tripod it would have taken me two seconds but yeah, guys, be looking for these reviews on top of probably another 10 or 15 kits I have to review. It's all about time, but I'm really looking forward to maybe getting a coat or two of this primer down. So I'm going to heat this up, clean up one of my bodies, a couple of my bodies I got, and uh, get them primed up and uh, probably make another update soon. So thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day.